I become very rebellious. I just ignore whatever my mom says. Then just eat whatever I want. Happy only I eat ice cream, chocolate, soft drink. Wow, that time I love is Coca Cola. Oh, because at that time I just think I'm so young. I'm still healthy. I can walk. I can run. I can see. What complication doctor tell me? I was like, okay lah, left ear in, right ear out. I don't really give a damn. Until three years back, when my mum kidney fails, because as a caregiver to her at that time, it's very difficult. And I saw her being put under sort of needles, poking. I've been doing daily injection for her, preparing her tablets every day, her daily tablets, her daily diet. I know it's difficult for her to go through as a diabetic, and because of diabetic, her complication comes, wow, like a a time bomb. So from then until when my mom passed on that time, I I really have to slap myself and wake up lah, cause I don't want the exact thing to happen onto myself. Soon after my mom passed away. About one year, I have this difficulty watching TV, even walking on the road. I may like stand there half an hour to about forty-five minutes on that position, couldn't move. My leg just stuck on the, like rooted to the ground. I couldn't move because in front my vision is getting blurrer and blurrer. Everything happens very coincidentally when my diabetes doctor, Doctor Tan. She actually referred me to a stamina, which have this screening, eye screening thing, and I went in for the eye screening, and the screening comes out to have a negative report, telling me I have a lot of unhealthy veins grow behind my retina, which might affect my eyesight sooner or later if I don't get it treated. My side at first is like chaos. I don't know how to live my life. Basically, I don't know how to change myself. I don't know how to feed myself. I don't even know how to actually bathe myself. All I have to do is sit down there and cry and cry and cry, being like emotionally affected. Last few months, I stand to like get more independent. I at least know how to feed myself. I can wash. Plates and some other of my own stuff. Change myself. Actually, walk around the house. To me, I thought, yeah, losing my eyesight is so difficult. But when I tend to stand up on my own, I have overcome these difficult, difficult times. All right. Oh, everything I couldn't do until now, I can do quite a number of things. My biggest hope that I can look forward in my life now is I have to live a happier, healthier life. Because I have understand losing a eyesight is already a very difficult things for me to pull through and to come through until to what I am today. If I'm to lose more things like my liver, my heart, and my kidney, just like my mom has lost her everything and ultimately lost her own life, then I think there's nothing more for me to look forward to. Start taking care of their health now, lah. Even they, wherever what age group they are in, whether it's in the younger age, a adult age, or even at the elderly age. So don't wait until they lose any part of their body, then they start regretting. They are start trying to pull uh pull up their socks to do uh things that may may help, but not to a greatest help. But don't don't be last minute, lah. Do it while you are still young, when you still have the ability to take care of yourself. Don't wait until, like me, low vision handicap. Now I I really felt very regretted. If I were to like take care of myself, five to ten years back, I won't have lost my sight. Very seriously.